friends did you know that with just a high school qualification you can travel to the united states and even with your family to study vocational and technical programs such as pilot program cosmetology makeup artist fred did you say makeup artist yes i said makeup artist you heard me right graphic design fashion culinary manicuring esthetician mechanical acupuncture and massage and even barbara you don't need any test course fees are very minimal because they are very short courses and sometimes there are scholarships available listen this is a one-time opportunity you need to watch this video to the end as i explain this to you this is the information you've been waiting for thank you for subscribing my name is fred and this is the fred effect let's get into the video If you are meeting me for the first time, I appreciate you for subscribing. Thank you for being part of the Fred Effect family. My name is Frederick. As at the time of recording this video, I am a second year master's degree in public administration student. I also double as a research assistant. I have had a lot of experience in the study abroad journey. I've also assisted a lot of international students in their dream universities and programs. So for this reason, I decided to create this channel to share with you scholarship and study abroad opportunities, visa interview tips, and generally life abroad. If this is the kind of content you are interested in, it will make my day if you join the Fred Effects family by clicking on the subscribe button, hit on the notification bell so that anytime I upload a new video, you'll be the first to be notified and you can easily check it out. Now, a lot of the time, most of the information you see out there are people who have a bachelor's degree, a master's degree, or PhD, and want to have further studies and scholarships available for them. However, if you have only a high school qualification and you're just interested in a certificate program, a vocational or technical program that would propel you to the next height in life, it becomes challenging if you are thinking of studying abroad. The category of visa I'm going to talk about in this video is something a lot of people do not know about. And hardly do people concentrate on this aspect. So friends, in this video, I'm just going to let you know some of the institutions in the United States that offer technical certificates and vocational programs that you can easily get admission into Sometimes there are scholarships available, their cost of attendance is very low, which could grant you a visa, which we call the M1 visa, and you can even come with your family who will be under the M2 category. Now listen, if getting admission into the major academic fields have been challenging, why not try a vocational or technical program or even a certificate program? Admissions into these institutions are quite easier. Now let's head over to my computer. I will let you know about some of these institutions, the admission requirements, as well as the application process. Now individual who have been admitted into the major academic pro programs such as the bachelor's degree, the master's and the PhD fall under the F1 or the J1 category. However, these vocational institutions, when you gain admission, you would receive what we call the M1 I-20. So individuals who are coming for vocational studies will fall under the M1 category. Now, if you have a spouse, you have a child and you want to come with the person, then the person will fall under what we call the M2 category. The first institution we are checking out is called Flight Academy. And as you can imagine, they offer um, these programs airline pilot program which are for only domestic students and airline pilot program for international students and um, there are also college degree programs as well as individual courses and transfer quickly let's look at where this um, institution is located um, it is located in florida in the united states so let's look at the admission requirements real quick i've already indicated the programs that they offer and so in terms of the admission requirements, my focus is on international students. So these are the requirements. You must be at least 17 years of age. And also you must have completed minimum high school equivalent, just like I said in my introduction. You must have a valid international passport. Additionally, you must provide um, proof of financial means to fund pilot training. Um, that is a bank statement. Most importantly, you must be able to read, speak, write and understand the English language that is it so step one you meet the requirement that i st um, stated above and then you submit your um, visa fee and um, that is the next submit your visa processing fee the, this covers the service um i-91 um, government fee i-20 processing income in student package and epic uh, virtual academy online access and english assessment remember to prepare well for your visa interview so step three receive student packet a schedule a visa interview obtain your visa and then yeah you come to the institution in florida that is it so they have a chat option here where you can ask them all the questions you have if let's move on to the next institution 
so next we are looking at acupuncture and massage also located um, in Miami Florida so yeah um, this is their website I'm going to share this in the YouTube video description it makes it easier for you to click on it and then it takes you directly to the website first let's look at some of their programs so their programs they have masters of oriental medicine acupuncture and if you click on it you can have details as to what program is about they have a suite of art in health sciences this means that if you have a high school qualification minimum you can apply for this there's also undergraduate certificate in massage therapy and then patient care technician certification let's check out the requirements so to apply you have to have a non-refundable application fee of $50, a completed application form, a digital photograph taken by the admissions director in that order. And so I'll share this link. It makes it easier for you to check out all their requirements, including a two signed letters of recommendation on a letterhead, you know, and this is for only the oriental medicine applicants only. It means that if you are interested in the other certificate programs, you do not need this. Let's check out the international um, website. Uh, so as an Application instructions for international students as an as an academic institution of a higher education acupuncture and massage college is authorized to issue a certificate of eligibility form I-20 for you know the application of F1 or M1 visa as I indicated in my introduction earlier international students interested in enrolling at AMC must comply with all admission requirements listed under admission requirements and with the following additional document friends so next we are looking at the university of cosmetology arts and sciences so basically they have five major campuses all located in the state of texas in the united states so this is um the university of cosmetology and arts sciences let's look at their courses and admissions so this is a very important information financial aid is available to those who qualify let's look at their programs real quick so cosmetology operator um aesthetician and there's also um eyelash extension specialist and then we have aesthetician and manicurist specialist as well as manicurist so these are um some of the programs that they offer here um at the university of cosmetology and sciences it's it's very important that i show you this information over here it's clearly indicated that um, down here it's clearly indicated that University of Cosmetology, Arts and Sciences at these three campuses, that is the campus of McLean, even though they have five campuses, it is only these three campuses that are authorized by the U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services to accept and enroll M1 non-immigrant students that meet the necessary admission requirement. So, you know, be sure that you are applying to only these three um, campuses the other um, two campuses do not accept international applicants i don't want this video to be very long so if you have any questions email them or ask in the comment section i'll quickly respond to you let's move on to the next college let's move on to the next institution so the next institution is august escoffier school of culinary arts um, the name is a french name and i did not know how to pronounce it well but this is um, a popular chef um a french popular chef so let's move on um so this is the institution i'm going to share the link in the youtube video description and already they are enrolling classes are starting in november so yeah so let's look at where it is located this institution is you know located they have three main campuses and um, there is an austin campus which is located in austin they have three main campuses there is an austin campus which is located in austin texas and then they also have Boulder um, in Colorado, right? So let's look at some of the programs that they offer, right? In terms of the programs, they have culinary arts, they have baking and pastry, they have plant-based culinary arts, hospitality and restaurant operations management, holistic nutrition and wellness. To be able to know about more about any of these programs, all you need to do is to click on any of them. Now, because I don't want this video to be very long, that's why I'm moving a bit quicker. Now, I earlier told you that there are sometimes scholarships available. So the Escoffier Scholarship Foundation is designed to assist students with passion for culinary and pastry at who may be unable to attend without additional financial assistance. So that is the scholarship. And then there is also competitive culinary arts scholarship 
um, which are two. So after your application, you apply to any of them that suit your preference. So specifically on the Austin campus in Texas, they have an associate um, of applied science degree in the culinary arts. They have a diploma in culinary arts associate of applied science degree in pastry art as well as a diploma in pastry art so if you have a high school qualification you know you qualify to apply to any of these on the boulder campus which is located in colorado they have associate of occupational studies degree in culinary arts they have a diploma in culinary arts as well as associate of occupational studies in baking and pastry they have diploma in pastry art as well as plant-based cuisine diploma this is awesome so 70, 74% of students got financial aid. So if you are an international applicant or student, this is um, the checklist you have to look at. And I'll share the link in the YouTube video description. So be sure to check it out. So apply for admission to the School of Culinary Arts. And then you can choose any of these, um, either the Boulder, Colorado campus or Austin, Texas. Provide official proof of high school graduation or equivalent. So you need um, only high school qualification. You may have to um, provide English proficiency if you are not from an English speaking country. And then you can receive a conditional acceptance if you, you, you cannot show the English proficiency. You can still apply for conditional acceptance too. You provide a financial affidavit of support and any additional document required if you're a transfer student and then the i-20 will be issued you pay your i-91 service fee and you apply for your m1 visa and that's it friends the next institution is asm beauty world academy and this institution is located um in florida that is hollywood florida that's the name of the city and so let's look at their programs real quick so these are their programs they offer cosmetology i wouldn't want to go into detail because there are other institutions i said that offer that but my attention was on the barbrand you know um program that they offer they also offer full um specialist skin care they have nail technology and instructor training and they have basic makeup as as well as advanced makeup electrology and body wrap so um, my interest in terms of this institution is on the barbering let's go into okay. this the program provides training in various barber services and the biological study of the of the hair lectures in this program would include chemistry sterilization and bacteriology hygiene state law and salon management the student will become skilled in performing barber services as performed in the in a barber shop and should have the ability to pass the state licensing examination to become employed in the barbering field now as an international student um this is what you go through so a student visa which is i-20 as an m1 visa this school is authorized under federal law to enroll non-immigrant students so the united states receive foreign citizens who come to study in the united states before applying for a student visa all visa applicants must be accepted and approved by the academic institution so once this institution accepts you this is how you go about it you complete your i-20 or m1 um, application send copies of your passport high school diploma and equivalent uh, as well as birth certificate choose the program you want to study um, either cosmetology which is um, 1200 hours you know um, a barber full specialist advanced makeup and um, skin care nail technology then you send a required deposit according to the program you have chosen you know um to qualify the requirement as an international applicant is you have to have a valid passport a high school diploma or equivalent and also you should be a minimum i wouldn't want this video to be very long however there are a lot of these institutions i'll create a google file so that you can have access to most of them let me know if there is a certification or technical program you are interested in that I did not mention in the video. If the institution offers a certificate program, remember to verify if it is Department of Homeland Security Service accredited. That means that as an international student, you can enroll in such a program in the institution. I always suggest that you follow the suggestions I gave in this video to apply to any other institution, including these ones that I share in the video. Remember, email the director of the program or the admissions office wait for a positive response before you put in your application recommend this channel to someone else i would really appreciate it if you've not subscribed yet to click on the subscribe button 
give this video a like so that youtube recommend it to other people if you turn the post notification bell on anytime i upload a new video you'll be the first to be notified to be able to check it out if you need a personal assistant the best place to get interactive with me is in the comment section better still you can head over to my twitter handle i'm very active on twitter send me a direct message and i'll quickly respond to you i'm always happy to be of assistance i really appreciate you for subscribing you make doing this easier my name is fred and this is the fred effect i'll see you in another video be positive it will be fine